Dan Orlovsky uh, takes a look at how the Browns defense played and kind of dictated terms against the 49ers. This game was played by the Cleveland Browns defense in the backfield of San Francisco's mm. offense. I don't know if we've seen a defensive line change the line of scrimmage the way they did against San Francisco. Look at where the line of scrimmage is. What, the 37 and a half yard line? This is first and 10. Look at the new line of scrimmage. This ball's two yards behind the actual line of scrimmage before McCaffrey ever gets close to something. 41-yard line is the original line of scrimmage. Look at the penetration that happens. They are two or three yards mm. in the backfield mm. on second and one. Mm. This is a defensive line. Dalvin mm. Tomlinson and Miles no Garrett and Zaire Darius Smith. 49-yard line. Look at this one. This is resetting the line of scrimmage. This was a game that Cleveland's front, they played man coverage. They decided to get vertical down the field and said, we are going to just disrupt everything that San Francisco tries to do. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen that happen to a Kyle Shanahan offense in a long time. It was a dominant performance by that defensive line. And it's been something that the Browns have been doing consistently, Fred. Um, you see they've allowed... Just over 1,000 yards all season, third fewest by a team through its first five games of a season since 1970. Only the Baltimore Colts, um, 836 yards allowed in the 1970. Uh, Vikings have allowed fewer. Um, and I know you've written an article about this. Uh, it's starting to get historical in terms of what this defense is doing. Take us through uh, that article and, and what you've thought of this defense. Yeah, it's uh, it's only five games. And I asked Kevin Stefanski about that yesterday for that story. Didn't want to really expound. Just want to say there's a lot of room for improvement. I kind of know that is what they're going to say. But you talk about national media. In that story, I, I quoted several prominent national media sources that said, you know, how just what Orlowski just said, that they dominated the 49ers, and it's taken notice. I said on your show and all the way back to West Virginia and all the way back to the spring when they hired Jim Schwartz that I felt that he, the hiring of Jim Schwartz was the biggest move the Browns made in the offseason before all the free agents and trades and things like that. And, you know, you can see – the impact that he's made. Now, I didn't know it was going to be this this big of an impact, but he's changed the culture. These players on defense believe they're going to shut down any team that they play. They're very disappointed if they if they give up any score. Now, you can look look at the beside the numbers, the touchdowns. You know, the other day, interception. The 49ers started on the Browns eight. They got a touchdown. Jackson had a 10-yard run after an interception in the DTR game. You know, so 10 yards. They had another interception on the 38, and they gave up a touchdown. Three touchdowns were on very short fields. And other than that, they they gave up that opening drive touchdown the other day, which was about as much them personal fouls than it was 49ers. But – I just think the culture and the mindset, obviously they brought in good players, but they're they're believing in Jim Schwartz and the system, and he's just like you saw in the video. He's just letting them go, and those guys like Dalvin Tomlinson are just shutting down the run. A year ago, we were talking about how this team could not stop the run. You know, they were giving up 130 yards or more every game. They finished giving up 130. 35 a game average. It was ridiculous. And in less than a year, they're now giving up like, you know, 50, 60 game yards a game. And after that first drive the other day, they only gave up, you know, like 30 yards. Some The leading rusher in the NFL, McCaffrey, they held him to 43 yards and he got 27 on like his first carry. So I don't think you can say enough. And, the thing I've been saying is this defense will travel and you can count on a defense that gives your offense more confidence and it gives, especially without the guys they had the other day, without Nick Chubb, without Joe Batonio, Jack Conklin, Nick, uh, besides Chubb, um, 
right on down the line, obviously Deshaun Watson, it, it buys you a little time to find your way on the offense. So hopefully in that last game Watson played, they put up 27 points and look pretty good, and then he gets hurt. So hopefully he'll be up to speed sooner than later. And you know if you can put up 20, 25 points in a game, you probably have a good chance to win because I don't think you're going to see much better offense than what you saw the 49ers. Sure, they had a couple guys dinged up, but so did the Browns.